Does this milestone give the mega cap a leg up in the big tech race? Did it make sense that we added so much in market cap to Google for a technology that has no commercial application yet? Guy. Not necessarily. However, I think what it shows is Google's not as far behind the eight ball as the market thought a few months ago. And the fact that they're probably still somewhat in the pole position. And on valuation, you can make a case still despite today's move. And I think that 191 and three quarter level that we traded up July, July is in the crosshair. So good for Google. Obviously, there have been some missteps, not necessarily from them, but the market around them. But I think people are realizing if they want value, Google's the place to be. What is that hockey metaphor about the puck? Skating to the puck? Exactly. You're, you're is that what it's fan. doing here? Well, I, I, mean, <laughs> I, I think there are audience at home would like to know what you think is going on in the world's most famous arena with the Rangers because it's been a it. tough yeah. ride. <laughs> but, but Google's more important tonight. And, and yes, they are. I, I actually think it is warranted. Not because, as we've all just said, it's not that Willow, whoever's naming these chips, is going to be a real-term dynamic to take on NVIDIA or AMD. But it's a reminder where Google sits in the middle of some really exciting tech verticals. And then as the, the Baird note that we, we prepped some of this with, it says, you know, it's the largest advertising company in the world. It is certainly front and center as it relates to search and digital ad and everything in their core business is A-OK -okay, and it's getting bigger and bigger. But then you are in, in cloud compute. You are in areas where I think Google, is, you know, you're reminded at 21 times forward in a world where all of their peers are now trading at multiples that are probably 20 to 40 percent higher than they were five years ago, Google's at the same multiple, and it probably should be, and it could be higher than some of the others. Do you think that we're giving them a tremendous birth? Uh, if this were talking about AI, mm -hmm. we'd be saying it was pixie dust, right? I mean, think about it. Do you think you're giving them more so of a wider birth? you think pixie dust? No, I think it's... I think it's Great, but I think guys started off the right way. Where are they going to use it, or, or your entrance to the show? Where are they going to use it? How are they going to monetize it? I think if this was AI, we would have been saying a host of headwinds towards this right now. So maybe it's not pixie dust, but where are they going to monetize? And you know who's been at the head of this and who was at the head of AI? IBM was at the head of both. It's outperformed Google on a year-to-date basis. It's quietly doing everything that everyone else is doing, not in a glitzy fashion. So I think that this run-up wasn't too much. That's what you started the show with. I think it was a little too much, and I think you're going to start to see a fade. Or maybe this underscores the fact, the value of Google, Julie, for the things that are not in the valuation. Um, and this certainly was not in the valuation. I mean, this is early... Talk about early stages. Google has a six milestone, six step milestone roadmap for quantum computing. This is milestone number two. So it is very early in the pathway, but it, it just shows that, that, that there is something in its back pocket. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is really much more of a reflection on valuation than being able to handicap when this technology is actually going to be economic. It's so much more about, hey, I have missed out on some of these rallies and these other AI names. I need confidence that Google isn't going to get completely left in the dust, particularly since a lot of AI chatbots have an existential threat to their search business. And so it's really critical for investors, especially longer term investors, to get confidence that they are going to be still in the mix and that they are working on delivering something that can support and eventually overcome their key search business, which is really where everything hinges. Is this your favorite MAG7 stock, Julie? I, I think so. I think, you know, I think people forget that so much of, you know, the strength that we see in open AI really originated at, at Google. And that talent is really pretty critical. So I think it's pretty underappreciated. I think its core business is among the strongest that it's trying to defend. But I do think that it is in the most peril in terms of what can happen with more of these chatbots and more search being done away from them.